hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite photographer divan Sosuko. so on this video i'm going to show you guys how to clean a dirty white background so without wasting much time let's just get to it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorial videos but for now let's get started so at first what i'm going to do when I'm working on the background is I need to duplicate this background layer is either by bringing it down here or pressing command J on my keyboard to do that so once I'm done with that you will need to select the subject is either you click on select subject or you use the um, quick selection tools to do that but mine I already have it I may save subject selection of it so I'm just going to come to select then I'm going to load my selection so I'll just come choose the subject then I'll click on it so it has automatically selected the subject which I did that earlier so after doing that I will need to add feather one to the selection so once I add the Feather one. I'm going to click on my command J on the keyboard. So after clicking the command J, this is what is going to show. So if I close this and the background, you can now see it's just the subject. So why I'm doing this is that anything I'm going to be doing on the background, it won't affect this subject right here. So that is why I'm selecting it out differently here. So I'll just hide the visibility of it. So I will now group this two layer by dragging it down here. So I'll come to this layer one. So what I'm going to do now is that I want to add a solid color to it. So adding a solid color, I will pick on the eyedropper tool to pick a part which is brighter because from year to year must be brighter than the downside so i'll just pick a color which is brighter here and after that i will come down here i will click on the solid color sorry so once i'm done picking the brighter part i will use this to rectangular tool <clears throat> so i'm going to select from that up to this point so once i'm done with this i'm going to come down here and i'll now click on the solid color and i will click ok so after clicking ok i'll reduce the opacity of this solid color i added to 85 so you can now see how it's looking right here so i'll come and i'll press and hold my command then press on the layer mask to select it so after doing that i will in, i will invert it just so it can select the down part so after selecting this down part i will come back to this layer one then i will pick my mixer brush make sure it's on a clean brush the weight should be at 30 the load at 30 and F mix flow at 30. so once all that setting is done i'll just brush the background the down part just to make it real and smooth so i'll just brush it i'm just going to brush it gently so why i'm brushing this as i said earlier i want it to look smooth but you can see it's still looking dirty but you shouldn't worry about that we we'll get to fix that so i'm just going to brush so i'm just going to brush so i'll just take this i'm just going to brush as well brush so i'll come back to this part here 
I'll see you make it look smooth and clean. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So after that, I'll just zoom it out. So I'll now deselect the selection. So I'll come to this my layer mask. So the feather, I'll just bring the slide to the point which I see that line is not really obvious. So I think it's perfect at that point. So after doing that, after doing this, I'm going to add the black and white. So after clicking this black and white, I have not changed any settings here. So I just let it be that way. And I will also add this and it's fine. So after doing this, you can now see the upper side is brighter than the down part. So if I want this down part to be more dark, I will still come here, press and hold my command, then click on the layer mask, then invert it. But on this vid on this particular image, the down part is looking dark a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'll come back to this layer too, which is up here, and I will now open it. So you can see all what I did hasn't affected this. So this is how I got to clean up the background, smoothen it, and also make it pop. So this is actually how I got to do. So this is the before and this is the after of what I did. So thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorial video. But for now, see you in the next video.